a Big Spark Studios original. You're my little squish. You're my little squishy. You're my little squish ball. You're my little squish. You're my little squish ball. You're my little squish. You're my little squishy, squishy. We're starting. Hello, everybody. I'm petting my dog. Hey, everybody. What is up? Welcome back to Unhinged with Chris Clemens, the podcast that I'm starting, fully knowing that I'm going to have to um, cough really loud because there is... A weird scratch in my throat. Yeah, that's probably good to turn down the level three, too. <coughs> Anyways, hey. Oh, my God. Sounds automatically so much better. Um, Before we get into the episode, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Unhinged with Chris Clemens wherever you listen to podcasts. And um, if you want to watch the video episodes, be sure to watch YouTube.com slash Chris because we put the podcast's video episodes up there as well. And if you want to join Patreon for an additional episode a month plus maybe bonus content who knows we're still figuring that out but um for 420 this year we are going to be doing a smoking podcast episode on the patreon because i don't feel like getting banned off of youtube quite yet um booger hey ma'am miss ma'am i see the tail wagging which means you hear me yeah Uh come on come on get up we're chilling we're chilling good girl good girl yeah there we go okay um, now, before we get into the episode part two, I just wanted to do a little shout out. And this one is from one of you guys. And it reads, hello, my name is Gavin and I am a 17 year old FTM trans guy, female to male, if you are unaware. In my junior year of high school, I live with my single mother and my two siblings, and I'm starting the fundraiser to try and help with the cost of my transition while being able to continue to transition and receive top surgery would make me feel so much more comfortable with myself. Our family's money goes towards our necessities, such as housing, food, and transportation. Being able to have top surgery by the time I have to go to college would mean a lot to me, so I decided to make this fundraiser. Anything including sharing is deeply appreciated. Thank you, Gavin. If you want to go help out Gavin, the link will be down below, as well as the link to submit your own GoFundMes or for GoFundMes for people in your community or businesses in your community or things like that that you just think could use the love and attention and money um be sure to submit and i'm super excited for you gavin i'm hoping we can help here at unhinged and yeah everybody the link will be down below to donate um the date is april oh it's the 11th i thought it was the 10th wait Ooh, I might have written my manifestation journal wrong. (laughs) I'm like, I definitely... Oh, wait, was that the night before? Huh. I need to stop maybe taking as many edibles before I go to bed. I'm like, I just need to make sure I sleep. But then it's like, yeah, Chris, you're sleeping, and then you're, like, not wanting to wake up. No, not in, like, a depressive way. Just, like, a... "Mm, My bed is really warm. And, like, yeah. We don't need to discuss it. It's already dysfunctional enough. Um, I'm very excited about the two weeks we just took off. Well, we just took off, what, one, maybe? We did two recordings, oh, wait. right? Wait, technically, we we took two weeks off, right? Who's Who didn't I in mean, that like, scenario? The, epi- the episode, the, the publishing schedule didn't oh, take Oh, yes, off. like we as people in this room <laughs> took off two yeah. weeks. But we, you guys, no, we stay feeding you guys. Um, no, we took two weeks off because you guys were out of town for a wedding and other stuff. Um, oh my gosh, can we share the news? Did we talk about it? What? Your dad? Oh, yeah. We yeah. talked about it on the podcast? No, I don't think we talked about it on the oh, podcast. Oh, well, let's give a shout out. Justin's dad beat heart surgery. Yeah. Is that the right phrasing of it? Yeah, he won. He won. He won. He's a winner. <laughs> You're a winner, Mr. Bretter. Um, I'm super excited about that. That ma- I was like definitely like on edge last week. I was like, oh God, I just hope everything goes well. Yeah. As if it's about me, yeah. <laughs> I was on edge, <laughs> definitely just only me. <laughs> But he's good now? Yeah, he's good. Love that. Yeah. Love to hear that. That is some good news. Speaking of news, I don't know if this is good or bad, but Andrew showed me this article yesterday. And (laughs) it's like my favorite thing. And I think... Oh, so anyways, sorry. Wow, ADHD. I really should see a psychiatrist about Adderall again, maybe. My ADHD is bad. Anyways. 
Uh, everybody was like, yeah, you interrupting is ADHD. And I was like, got it. Oh, thank, the thank you, Bill Nye. I mean, like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm fucking aware. Now, before we carry on, I want to thank one of the sponsors of today's episode, which is Surfshark VPN. If you guys do not know, we have worked together before, and I absolutely love them. If you do not know, Surfshark VPN is a mobile app or browser extension that lets you place your mobile device or computer anywhere in the world and lets you surf and access the internet as if you were in that place. With over 3,200 servers in 65 countries, you are able to access truly any kind of content library, such as Netflix. If you are in America and you want the US US office, you can just go to Surfshark VPN app, go across the pond, and you can then watch The Office because for some reason the UK has American office. <laughs> I don't get it either. Now, a huge reason I love Surfshark VPN is when I am on public Wi Fi or in hotels or things like that. All of my photos, videos, and data is safe behind a security wall or like I what I assume is a security wall. I don't really even know what a security wall is, but Surfshark VPN does the job and all my shit is safe. A huge drop for me with Surfshark is the fact that you can have an unlimited amount of devices under one account with iPads and iPhones and computers and laptops. It is just so nice and I don't understand why it is not more common. Now, if you want to try out Surfshark VPN for yourself, be sure to visit the link in the description of this episode and use code CLEMENS, K-L-E-M-E-N-S, for 83% off plus three extra months for free. They also have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there really is no risk in trying it. Thank you so much, Surfshark, for sponsoring another episode and working with me. And let's get back to the episode. Anyways, in the two weeks we've had off from Unhinged, like us in this room... <laughs> I just feel like I've like been getting some better ideas for the podcast and I want to have segments kind of like what we used to do, but not have every episode be the same fucking segments because then I think it just gets boring. I'm kind of toying with the idea of just having different like we're going to do this new one called Chris's Court where you guys just call in with different arguments or things you need settling on. And then I also want to dive in the DMs. I just feel like I don't look at DMs, but if I do, it might as well be on video so we can all get the depressive uh, spiral I go down. But also, like, introducing just random news stories and things like that, like, kind of how we used to do, but not have it be super heavy. Just kind of like the random shit on the internet, which is what brings us here today. Andrew shared, if you don't know Andrew, you haven't been watching all the episodes, but, oh, fuck, I got too excited. The micro. <gasps> The headphones went out. I'm shoving it down and it's still working. So we're chilling. Um, anyways, my roommate, Andrew, uh, sent me this article and it says, this is from Input Magazine. I didn't know what, it, what Input was. I was like, okay, the input for these headphones could be better. <laughs> um, the title is Another Twitter Stan Account Nonchalantly Announces Their Bizarre Crisis. And this was something I didn't realize that other people were catching on to. But, like, as someone who has had fan accounts and then, like, they go silent, I'm like, oh, I'm irrelevant. And then they post, like, three months later and they're like, as you know, I haven't been posting or as active on here. And it's because that, like, X, Y, and Z. And it's like, sometimes it's just, like, mental health, like, school but then sometimes it'll be like, my cat got electrocuted and then a hurricane hit our house. And you're like, wait, what? Oh, my God. So I figured we would, <laughs> the byline for this, Lady Gaga stan account at Gaga Notify posted this week that they'd been literally kidnapped. Yes, no joke. Oh, my God. I should have probably read that before reading it with laughing. I haven't read this article. I just thought that this was a niche thing, so we'd read it together. It takes a certain type of person to commit to posting updates about a single celebrity every waking hour, but some people do it. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, they largely do it for free. That is what I always find like so incredible. I'm like, wow, that is dedication. In the past years, it's become abundantly clear that some of the admins of fan accounts have some pretty gnarly personal lives, <laughs> as if they're people. Um, in April 2019, the 19-year-old who runs at Legit Tay Updates casually mentioned that they went to jail because they refused to join the Israeli Defense Force, chirpily adding, more Taylor Swift updates coming soon. Oh, my God, literally, it's like the most casual tweet. Update. As most of you know, I haven't been very active in the past couple of months because I was in prison, slanty face. <laughs> I'm back now because, smiley face, more Taylor Swift updates coming soon. <laughs> Someone goes, oh my God, why? And the person goes, I refuse to join the IDF LMAO. 
A similar thing happened in January when an account called at feel time moving that inexplicably posts hourly updates of Billie Eilish's green hair broke a months long period of silence to share that they'd gone to prison after they kind of helped start a pyramid scheme. Not my best moment. <laughs> like, guys, no one can write this shit. This is so good. The user paired the announcement with photos of Billy's green hair. And of course, oh, of course. All right. I know we're doing news segments. Still can't read. Um, you thought the post office was an intense for the whole snow nor rain shtick? Try Twitter fan account. Okay, I don't understand that. Hey, y'all, sorry I've been IA. Oh, MIA, I'm assuming. I've been in jail for the past few weeks. Exclamation. But Happy New Year. <laughs> I'm like obsessed with this. Are you dead ass? Someone says, yeah, kind of. I, Yeah, haha. I kind of helped start a pyramid scheme. Not my best moment. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And now the user behind Lady Gaga stan account, Gaga Notified, posted they'd been kidnapped, no joke, and apologized for not posting the night before. Oh my god, babes. <laughs> Sorry for the lack of updates last night. I was literally kidnapped, parentheses, yes, no joke. But I gladly made it out safely and everything's okay. Here's Lady Gaga looking radiant at the NYFCC <laughs> last night where she accepted her Best Actress Award. Literally the most gorgeous picture of Lady Gaga I've ever seen. <laughs> Sorry about the lack of updates. Got arrested at a Ukraine-Russia war protest in Moscow. Who's excited to see Lady Gaga tonight at the hashtag SAG Awards star fa- I'm, like, not only, like, obsessed with just the nonchalant nonchalantness is launch with the casualness. Yeah, I mean, what the fuck am I trying to do here? Invent new words? No. Um, I love the casualness, but I also love the reasons, except the kidnapping one. That one's sad. That's not great. But you seem to have really gotten over it. <laughs> but, like, oh, my God, protesting in Russia war, not wanting to join the Israeli defense um, force. Like, Wow. Stan Twitter. This is just proving that always should be feared. Stan Twitter. Uh, should we do a voicemail? Should we? Oh, let's do. Let's go to Chris's court. Chris's court. That wasn't me jacking off. That was me pretending to do a gavel. <laughs> we gotta get a gavel. All right. Uh, order, order in the court. <laughs> I think we have the sound effect. Perfect. Hi, Chris. Hi. Uh, this is Grace. Hi, Grace. Love the podcast. Thank you. Love you. Love Booger a little bit more. Love. Um, love. But I have been having this debate with my friend. Not really a debate, more of a discussion, but would love to hear you weigh in on it. Okay. I'm but ready. She has has had this hot take for a little bit over a year now when we started talking about it, and that she believes that Jesus Christ himself, our Lord and Savior, oh boy. there's no way that he did not have sex while he was alive and and popping around. Um, We've talked about this, like, how could a guy who was literally performing miracles, he had groupies, like, he had people that would just follow him around. He was having fish thrown Um, at him. Like, there's absolutely no way that he was not He was having fish multiply in front of him. Um, We've gone back and forth. Um, We have not looked at the holy text. But um, I believe it's a fun topic of discussion because I never really thought about it until she brought it to my attention. Um, and I like I grew up Catholic, you know, le- you know, religious trauma gang. And, um, ah. But, you know, not something that I ever would have thought about. It, and it was always just kind of an implicit belief that, you know, Jesus didn't have sex. But here we are now. And now I think I'm slowly being convinced that he definitely did. Um, so anyway, yeah, if you have any comments. Uh, points to add to the argument or points against uh, open to anything. Uh, love ya and have a lovely, lovely day. Um, Thank you. S- get fucked respectfully. Bye. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. That ended it a little scary, babe. Um, Jesus Christ, literally. I love this concept of did Jesus have sex, but I immediately jumped to do you think Jesus did anal? Like, <laughs> Do we? Not like received it, because like, as we all know, that's banned in the Bible, even though the Bible doesn't even say that. Um, Do we think Jesus had sex? What do we think? Like, no, is like what I'm getting at. But like, yeah, he definitely, he was definitely getting. the rock star vibe. Yeah, like Jesus, superstar, Jesus Jesus Christ superstar. Yeah. Why am I trying to make a reference of shit I've never seen? I don't know why I continue to do it. Yeah, I 
I don't know, because his mom was a virgin. So, like, well, a virgin. Do we believe that's real? Do we? No. Can you get pregnant without having sex? Like, no, right? Oh, uh, yeah, artificial God insemination. Well, no, I mean... <laughs> No, I mean, but, like, can you just be, like, walking down the street and then, like... Like, if you did not get penetrated... Uh-huh. Like, you were a virgin. Uh-huh. Can you get pregnant? Like, obviously, yes, artificial and something, But, like, without anybody going in ya. <laughs> or, like, a turkey baster or whatever. That's how I think artificial insemination works, by the way. It's, like, absolutely just, like, a turkey baster. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> that didn't need to be recorded for the record. Um... I don't know. This is interesting. Wow. The first Christmas court and I'm stumped. I feel like he must. See, I want to say he must have because as a human being, I feel like it's just, especially as a man, it's like, oh, but then it's like, I can't see him having sex. I was just thinking like he walked around in like robes and sandals. Like that guy fucks. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the part that was almost giving me he doesn't fuck. Oh, really? <laughs> like, I feel like, like, that's e- the, like you like easy. Like you kick the shoes off and then you just disrobe. You're like ready to go. <laughs> that's what I think. <laughs> He's a freak in the sheets, which he wears all the time. <laughs> Interesting. See, I get the whole vibe of like sandals and robes and people are like, that's our town weirdo. Yeah, like, that's, a, like, that's the guy. creepy <laughs> old guy who walks by. Although I think he was like 25 or something. <laughs> so never mind. Oh my God, wait. If a 25-year-old was walking around with robes and sandals, okay, that is a different perspective. Because I'm thinking of like a 70-year-old. I don't know why I think of Jesus as so old. Like Dumbledore vibes. <laughs> you know? Like, what is that? When, well, I don't think he, he was like 30 when he died. Yeah, Jesus didn't like get old. No, he was like forever young. <laughs> Him on the cross. I want to be. F- <laughs> that as a music video would slap. <laughs> Who sing that song? Who sang that song? <laughs> Who sang Forever Young? Uh, yeah. Sting? No. 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 What's his name? I'm so glad that you said something before <laughs> I could. Sting. Like, let's go with Sting. When Sting, like, I, if Sting <laughs> was making the music Sting. video to, like, Forever okay, Young, I mean, that would be an iconic concept. I know Jay-Z covered it <laughs> or sampled it or whatever. Oh, no. Who even is Alphaville? Alphaville. Oh, I was thinking Rod Stewart Rod when I Stewart. said Sting, by the way. For oh, real? oh my gosh, I went to like Vegas and I thought Rod person. Stewart and Barry Manilow were the same person. That's fair. They look, I, they're both old men whose faces have been stretched well beyond what a face should be stretched. Wait, who? Same haircut. Bod, Bod, St- Rod, <laughs> Barry Manilow and Rod Stewart. Uh, Bod Manilow. I just farted and I definitely think you could have heard it. That's okay. Um, Billy I th- Idol. I get the, he, him also confused with Rod Stewart. And- Green Day? <laughs> no, Bill, no, it's Billy Joel Armstrong. Oh. Billy Idol's like... Uh, Billy Joe Armstrong. Did I say Joel? <laughs> it's Billy Joel? <laughs> I love that we're all just no, seemingly on crack Billy today. Billy Idol's like... Uh, <laughs> uh, Sting. Oh, oh my gosh, I also was going to say Bob Dylan for Forever Young. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> It's Sam against the world. <laughs> Sam against herself. <laughs> it inspired Jay Z's Young Forever. Right? Yes, that's what it is, Young Forever. Uh, that song I would listen to as a kid when I was like going, like graduating schools and stuff, and I would be, I'm gonna miss my friends. Like I want to be forever young. Anyways, I once again didn't need to share that. I think Jesus <laughs> maybe had sex. I don't know. I feel stumped. Like, what a good fucking prompt. I don't deserve the taste level that you're bringing to this podcast. I mean, I bet everyone wanted to have sex with him. Do you think? But, like, was that a culture? Like, he seems it's like so hot easy. and, like, healed people. And- Ooh. Okay, so we know Sam's type and kink. <laughs> she loves sandals, dirty feet, and robes. Are you a, Do you have a foot fetish? You don't no. have to explain. Okay, that's fair. I respect that because same. Do you, Justin? A, fe- a foot fetish? No. Jake, do you? Oh, he shrugged. Ah, Jake, like, really <laughs> had to think yeah, about it. This, I never thought about it. I'm learning. Oh, God. Okay. I just, I always regret asking, asking questions on here. I always regret it. I'm going to say that, like, see, it just, like, in our culture now, it's like everything's about sex. But, like, back then, like, although I guess Mary was literally known as, like, Virgin Mary. She was a prostitute. Right? Was she? What? Right? No. I love the rewriting of the Bible we're doing. Yeah, right? No, that's a different Mary, though. 
Mary Magdalene? Yeah. Was she a whore? <laughs> Wasn't Virgin Mary? No. No, she's, she's a virgin. virgin. I gotta read. I gotta brush up on the Bible then. <laughs> You've got some reading to do. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, this is probably. Oh my God, did Jesus have sex? We have so many title possibilities with this. It's really almost scary. So you're giving it no ruling. I think the jury has to deliberate. Oh my God, oh. the jury. Wait, Jake, can you run to the op- my office and get the jury duty thing? I need to call out of jury duty. That is like totally homework I meant to do. And we're guys, we're going to call out a jury duty. And that might literally be the title. Did- so this has to go to the jury, to the yeah. YouTube comments. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, YouTube comments. Dude, that is fun. so true. <gasps> oh my God. Are my Clementines being done being called Clementines and now are just called jurors? <laughs> People are like, why are you called that? <laughs> um, yeah, I like want to say that Jesus like had sex, but I just don't see that for him. I she, don't know. She was, they, some claim she was a prostitute. All right, some also claim that Jesus walked on water. So like, I don't know how realistic that is. I need to. We need to any um, information that I speak uh, that is personal, Justin. Just if we can blur my mouth as well. Sure. Oh, yeah. You're like... Uh, I throw a picture of Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it's no. like just a gif of me Florida. picking up Emma Watson no, and I'm like... like oh. It's like a, it's her going like this. <laughs> Love. Animated, yeah. <gasps> oh, I forgot you did that already. Wow, that that feels like years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was truly years ago. Um, All right. Let me make sure I'm connected to the Roadcaster Pro. I believe I am. And today, guys, we're calling out a jury jury duty. I did this like six months ago because I was just like in a mental breakdown and really not in a good place to go to jury duty. And now when I'm doing this, it's guys, this is happening on April 19th, the day before 420. There is not a chance I'm getting pulled in on like an OJ Simpson trial and missing 420 and then like also the rest of my life. So we're calling in to jury duty to get out of jury duty. And also I'm about to move. So like, listen, I can't be tied down right now. That's just how it is. Can you hear this? Welcome to <gasps> Serve Jury, the Serve Superior Court's jury. voice response system. Um, this system we're recording this to get for recording instructions, unhinged purposes. Is that okay? And find other general yes. information about jury service. Perfect. Notice to all potential jurors. SRB jury will never call a juror to request personal information like social security number. Please do not give out such information to anyone who claims to be with the court. To continue in English, say English. English. Or press one. Para continuar en español, no, marque el número dos. English. Your options are get reporting instructions, register for jury service, postponements, excusals, transfers, or work certificates. Juror orientation. No. To hear these options postponement. again, plus additional options, say here again. Postponement. And call, or just hang up. No. Sorry, I'm having difficulty oh. understanding your responses. From here on, would you please respond by using the touchtone keys on your telephone? Agree more to nasty. find out if you need to report for service, press 1. To register for jury service, press 2. For postponements, excusals, transfers, or work certificates, press 3. To listen to the juror, please enter your nine-digit juror ID number. Where the fuck your is Your juror that? ID oh, is on the front. Does anyone want to go in place of me? Is that illegal? Yes. Please You'll go? enter your four-digit PIN. Where? Your PIN is Wait, on where? the... Wait, question before phoning. I think it's Please hold while we it's retrieve your record. Oh, it's a fraud? The I mean, name associated with the juror ID you entered is K-L-E-M-E-N-S. Clemens! Yes. Press 1. <laughs> if incorrect, press 2. To hear the name, after you failed to appear for service on your original summons date, we sent you a failure to appear notice, telling you that you must appear for jury duty during the service week of Monday, April 18, 2022. Please call back after 6 p.m. on the Friday before <laughs> no, your reporting I can't week go. to get your updated Wait, reporting what? instructions. No. You cannot request a postponement or excuse from service through this system. This is the main menu. To so listen I to have to go to jury duty? Press five to end this call. No, that's so five. fucking dirty. Or just hang up to speak with an agent. Yeah. Press zero to hear We're speaking with an agent. Again. We're speaking with an agent. Please hold for the next available agent. <laughs> Currently, there are 
29. Callers in the queue ahead I'm of you. I'm hoping there's like 46 caller receivers. Can they, can you do the thing that they call you? Can you back? call me back? <laughs> Failure to respond may subject you to a fine incarceration or both, as well as performance of jury service. <laughs> so, like, we'll make you be on the jury, but you'll also get a fine and go to jail. See, this is what's fucked up. It's like, there's a reason I don't, I'm not a part of the draft. Like, I shouldn't be there. There's a reason I don't go to jury duty. I shouldn't be there. I am not qualified. If I was on trial, I wouldn't want me on my jury. Yeah. Well, same. no, I guess I would in that case because I would like totally be like, he's so innocent and <laughs> fine as hell. I, this is bullshit. And also, no, they never sent me anything. And also, my mail got robbed. So, like, I don't know why that's on me because our police can't do anything. Your mail got robbed? Yeah. Oh my God. On Sunday morning. Sunday morning, went to walk, booger. Noticed all the mailboxes on my street were ripped open, including mine, which you need a key for. And baby, all I need is surveillance footage of my street. Like, I'm going to turn her down a little. Can we turn her, like... I would say off, but we really need to like check if a real person like answers. This? Yeah, that's like we nice. Hear enough? I hear enough, but we could just do the episode and then if they chime in, you know, or we could continue with it. Yeah, no, that's like fully what I'm doing. And when they answer, I'm going to be like, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I was talking to Deborah. Deborah, I'll be, I'll be right back. And I'll be like, what? And I'll be like, I'm critically insane. There is no Deborah. Wait, I'm Deborah. <laughs> Wait, we can't keep this going for the whole. It's going to be the whole episode. Yeah. So you're going to have this music. That babe, it's that? the title. If YouTube wants the titles and content to match, baby, I'm calling out a jury duty. Anyways, um, I can listen to it over here and then bring it when somebody comes on. That is the nicest thing you've ever offered. And you've offered a lot of nice things. I don't think it'll, he'll be able to hear it if it's still connected to this. He, is he oh, working? yeah. Yeah, I'll just... Wait, I'll just, no, I'll just... Wait, no, that's... I think it's just... Let's leave it as it is. Everybody's like, why are we a part of this conversation? <laughs> Once again. I think... You know what? I think you we got, got some... mail. Did you do that as... Oh, you saw me reaching. Got it. Thanks, guy. You really... <laughs> the bare minimum makes me so impressed. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wow, you guys, we read each other's minds. All right, this is the part... Jesus fucking Christ. I regret reading this already. This is um, the part of the episode where we have mail, which means two of the secrets in this envelope you guys have actually submitted and have actually happened to you, I would hope. And then one of them has been made up by our producers. <sighs> If you want to submit secrets, the link is in the description of every episode. There's a Google form you can submit. Please make it truthful. And if you want to stay anonymous, make it anonymous. Secret number one. I let my dog lick my penis once. <laughs> Not going to lie, I've thought about that. Not like having my dog lick my penis. I've thought about, oh my God, if that ever happens, I would have to give my dog away. That seems so off-putting to me. Like, you know when you're, like, getting changed and dogs are curious and they just, like, lick shit? Like, I'm always afraid that that will happen. Not that, like, I'm swinging my dick in front of my dog, just for the record. This podcast should just be called Chris Stop Talking. Next secret. I'm secretly falling for a homophobe at my school. I'm a trans woman, so it's a problem. Or maybe you're the one to change them. Or maybe they're also trans and they're just so afraid of it. Isn't like isn't it like the people who are most homophobic are like the most closeted? Yeah, that's how I feel. It's like, why? What do you have to protect? Yeah, what are you hiding? Like this country? No, girl, this country is a shithole on fire. Last secret: I found out that my mom was dating her boss, so I texted. I need to restart this. I don't even know what's happening. I just literally can't read. I found out that my mom was dating her boss, so I texted him from her phone, telling him that she was pregnant and she got fired. Mom's still unemployed, but I don't regret a thing. Wow. That one, that one's just like fucked in the head. Are you okay? If that's real. All right. Now we have to decide which one did the person answer. Oh no. Um, now we have to decide which, if they answer, I'll go like this. Perfect. Okay. Cause sometimes my headphones are like cutting out. I, I want to, s- <sighs> I hope the trans woman one is real only because that's like really weird for one of you guys to make up. It's like really specific. 
The dog licked my penis one I feel like I've learned my lesson on. Um, <laughs> that I thought that that one was the fake one and that one. It's always like pets. And or wait, was that sex. the real one? Did that happen? Or was that the made up one that one time? What was it about? It was about a cat. It was like, no, it was about oh, a dog. that was real. Was that was real? real. I'm going to say that I found out my mom was dating her boss. No, that actually sounds exactly like something one of you guys would do. I'm going to say I let my dog lick my penis once. That's my final guess. How did I do, officer? Mom was pregnant is the... The lie? Yep. Well, I'm sorry for accusing you guys of doing fucked up shit. In my defense, you guys have done fucked up shit. Like letting your dog lick your penis for once. Wow, that was slightly off-putting. I'm not going to lie. I just want this person to answer so I can get out of this fucking jury duty. If anybody is wondering, I'm in group number 87. Does that mean I have to wait through 86 groups? Well, how does jury really duty work? I've never been. Like, how do you audition for it? Or, it's, like, what's the audition it's process? A, it's a panel of three judges. <laughs> Nicki Minaj, Mariah Carey, <laughs> and Randy Jackson. And Paula Abdul breaks her way onto the set. Um, I just don't want to do it. And I don't know how to not be more clear with that. <laughs> like, <laughs> I really fucking don't. Wait. This is the day after I get back from Coachella. Do you know how fuck that is on the day I'm supposed to? Oh, that, maybe that's perfect because you'll be like extra. Hey, I'm still on ecstasy. <laughs> I think this would be rad. Okay, I think that's the vibe. <laughs> oh my God, I was just at Coachella. I did MDMT or MDMA. Mm -hmm. MDMA. Mm -hmm. And oh, then wait, MDMA and then DMT. Say you right, broke I made some this... laws. I fucked. Huh? A cop. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new. Old. That's the new title. I fucked a cop. <laughs> <laughs> the poor YouTube. And then it's you with the your poor hands YouTube in, in handcuffs. <laughs> 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 Anyways, I hope the jury person is just listening and saying this person's on the ban list. They don't need to ever come in. They're like, we watched the show. How do we get banned from jury duty? That see, that's my goal. You People are like, what are your goals for life? And it's like getting banned from jury duty. Is it possible? You send them all 36 episodes of the show. <laughs> With a note at the end that says, you sure? <laughs> I mean, you could become a Canadian citizen. They don't do jury duty? I mean, you wouldn't do U.S. jury duty if you become a citizen. So I'd have to do Canadian jury duty. I mean, I don't know. So that means I'd have to travel internationally to do jury duty instead of go down the street? They settle that all with, like, a hockey game. <laughs> What? Whoever loses their full set of teeth first is, goes to jail. Yeah. Or they have a syrup chugging contest. <laughs> Maple syrup. So stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, I would rather chug... 21. Colors in the queue ahead of you. Okay, so we're moved up How eight. Many? 21. 21. 21. Let's do it. While we're on jury duty, let's do another court case. Let's do it. Chris's court. Ba while this is playing. While this is playing. Now, before we carry on with this episode of Unhinged with Chris Clemens, I want to thank the sponsor of the episode, which is Helix Sleep. If you do not know, Helix Sleep is a premium mattress in a box company that takes your specific needs in a mattress and delivers it right to your door. I especially love that aspect that it comes to my door because I find mattress stores off-putting. Like I said, Helix takes your needs because they understand that every person is different. So if you're a side sleeper, if you sleep hot or you want certain things in a mattress, they have it. When I took the Helix sleep quiz, I said that I'm a side sleeper. I wanted a king size bed and I like a medium firmness and they hooked it up with the Midnight Lux. And let me tell you, this mattress is so comfortable. I put one in my guest room as well. And my friends like are more excited to stay in the bed than they are to, I think, visit me, which is kind of fucked up. Now Helix Sleep is hooking it up for our listeners. They are offering up to $200 off all mattress orders, plus two free pillows and free shipping by going to helixsleep.com slash unhinged. That is helixsleep.com slash unhinged. H-E-L-I-X-S-L-E-E-P.com slash unhinged for up to $200 off all mattress orders, plus two free pillows and free shipping. Now I know buying a mattress online can be a little nerve wracking, but they have a 100 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. So if you're not into the mattress, they will literally come and pick it up. So it's great, it's comfortable, and it's the best night of sleep you'll ever get. Thank you so much for supporting the podcast once again. Uh-oh, it's me again, which means 
It's time to tell you that this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you do not want to. Another draw about BetterHelp is that it's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. As someone who has prioritized and opened up about my mental illness and have sought out help for it professionally, I know how important getting help for mental illness is. And to have something like BetterHelp be accessible in places where you might not be able to get certain services I think is really important. So because of this, BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you that you matter just as much as everyone else does and therapy is a great way to make sure you are showing up for yourself. I'm definitely someone who would drop anything for my friends, families, loved ones, etc. And we should all be doing the same for ourselves. Now, because this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, Unhinged listeners are getting 10% off your very first month at BetterHelp.com slash Unhinged. That is B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Unhinged. Now, before we carry on, I once again want to thank another sponsor of today's episode, which is Dadgrass. As you know, Dadgrass has been a huge supporter of the podcast, and I love them as well. If you do not know, Dadgrass is legal, organic, smokable hemp that relaxes your body and mellows your mind. Their 100% organic pre-roll joints are very low in THC and very high in CBD, so you can enjoy the effects of CBD without feeling like you're stoned, because you won't be. Every time I work with Dadgrass, I discuss this, but I love Dadgrass for when I'm at home working, and I just want to feel relaxed and less like in my head about things i love popping open a pack of dad grass and just token every once in a while there's just times where i don't want to be stoned and that is okay <laughs> now if you want the toke but without the smoke dad grass also has a cbd tincture made with the same high quality hemp it's easy to dose and the effects come on perfectly smooth basically dad grass is getting chill but without getting stoned it's like having a glass of wine instead of the bottle. You feel me? Now all of you are looking at me like, no, we drink the bottle. Maybe you should have a glass, okay? <laughs> now, of course, all Dadgrass products are federally legal for ages 18 and over, and it ships right to your door anywhere in the US. And right now, Dadgrass is actually offering our listeners 20% off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash unhinged. That is dadgrass, D-A-D-G-R-A-S-S dot com slash unhinged for 20% off your first order. Once again, dadgrass.com slash unhinged. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode and back to the, the episode. Yeah. Okay. Great. Hey, Chris. Oh, I My name is I Macy like, hey, um, and I, I absolutely to... love you <laughs> and you. I think you're so fucking hilarious. Thank I you, was Macy. just watching your most recent video and you said that you wanted us to call in and leave a dispute. Yes. Well, my dispute is with Chris Cummins himself. I do love you. Think you're fucking hilarious. Already said all that. But you be making mad fucking jokes about West Virginia. I, I am a proud, born and raised Southern West Virginia woman. I am educated. I have a college degree. I support myself. 22 years old. And it really pisses me off when you make jokes about West Virginia Sorry, because it just really feeds into the stereotypes That's... of West Virginians being stupid and not being able to get anywhere in life. And I hate that people think about such a beautiful state with beautiful people as such a horrible thing. Um, they're not saying that there isn't horrible people in the state, but yeah. Love you. <laughs> Love you. I don't know what court debate there really is because I'm obviously team Chris in the courtroom. What? What? Um, listen, here's the thing. I don't know why. It seems like the frustration is being misguided here. And I am about to gaslight girl boss <laughs> gatekeep. I just think that this anger is distributed to the wrong party here. Your Honor, I believe that the people of West Virginia, this should be Macy versus the people, parentheses of West Virginia. I mean, I think everywhere gets a bad rep to some extent. Like, you know, like, I don't hate West Virginia as much as I hate, like, maybe, like, Virginia. Like, 
just <laughs> central Virginia <laughs> um, or Florida. Like, see, that's the thing is like, yeah, I have people that I like in Florida. I haven't met them yet, but like, they're, I'm sure they're there, you know. I just don't think that I'm just observing everything that I've seen. I don't feel that I am necessarily, Your Honor, in the wrong. And I respect your time. So that's why I I don't know why I'm really like pretending like I'm on trial. Um, I just, yeah, I don't, I'm sorry, but I'm not, I'm still going to make the jokes. That doesn't mean that, he, it doesn't mean everybody. It just means a lot of them I feel that way about. And based off of my time in West Virginia, it only supported it. There was a Cabela's way. There was like a driveway for Cabela's. I don't know what more you want from me. It like it writes itself. I'm just proud of her um, that she's from West Virginia and she figured out how to use a phone. <laughs> <laughs> the guy read comments that were like, "You are so mean to the your crew." Blah blah blah, and I'm like, <laughs> "Listen, bitch, it's a, we're equal opportunists here." Um, yeah, I don't feel bad about my West Virginia jokes. I make jokes about people in Delaware. I make jokes about people in California. I make a lot of jokes about people in California. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I think everywhere is a joke. I mean, life at this point is a joke. What are we talking about? Are you like, oh my God, America. I shit on America all the time. Hello, citizen. Sadly. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't agree with that court case. I can't believe you picked that. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Do you love West Virginia? No. Oh, so oh, so the truth comes out. Truth comes out. You don't even like West Virginia. Name five songs. Well, we didn't. Get, <laughs> we didn't get like a ton. We need more Chris Court voicemails. Guys, send in your fucking disputes. I mean, I don't care how small and petty. You know how small and petty I am. Well, not like sm oh, shit. I was supposed to book a reservation for dinner. Fuck, and I like Wait. literally keep forgetting. My friend just came to town, and I was like, "Oh my god, Britney Spears is pregnant." Really? My friend just texted me, Britney Spears being pregnant, dead, <gasps> dead, dead. I do have a lot of missed text messages. <laughs> it's all Britney Spears. Wait, shut the fuck up. Suddenly, curry, jury jury duty. Oh my God, wait, where, 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 where? Oh my God. Where the fuck is that? No, she just means Jamie Lynn again. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. I was like, shut the fuck up. Oh my God, I'm seeing it, Britney. Oh my God. Brittany! I just hope she's happy. Who do you think the father is? Her boyfriend? It's not Justin. Did they get married? No. <laughs> Did... <laughs> All right, are we living in like 2001 or whatever? I mean, I don't even know when that happened. <laughs> do we think it's Justin, guys? And everyone's like, no. I, I frankly don't think it is. <gasps> oh my God, you just broke me the news live on Unhinged. Everyone's like, okay. Britney's pregnant title. That might still be relevant. Write it down. Write it down. <laughs> Let's hang up on jury duty and just... You're definitely like... not getting out of jury duty. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, I feel so scattered now. What was I just talking about before? Um, about do you want to do another voicemail? <laughs> yeah, let's do a voicemail. Like a non-court one? Yeah, let's turn down... Um, Barry Manilow saxophone. Oh my god. Oh, I thought that was. Oh my god, your voicemail. Um, hey, Chris. I love the people you can tell. So are the first I'm not time sure if you've ever oh god, dealt with voicemail. this before, <laughs> but what is your best advice for getting over jealousy? Like oh, just no the idea. feeling of jealousy in general. Sometimes I find myself being a green-eyed little bitch, and I honestly hate that I get like that. I really, really don't want to be that type of person, and I feel really guilty about it a lot. So, yeah, any advice would help. Love you. Bye. Yeah, I'm a jealous bitch. I get so jealous. And it's, like, not even, like, I'm... It's not like it takes away my happiness for the person. Like, I feel like you can be happy and jealous. No, I think that literally goes against the premise of jealousy. I don't know. I just think it's easy to get jealous, especially nowadays when everybody's, like posting like the best of the best of their life and it's just so easy to be jealous like look at me i'm at fashion week and i'm like i'm gonna kill you that youtube that is a that is a bit that is a bit that is a bit not something to take into consideration when it comes to monetization thank you um yeah i don't know how to get over it i think just being aware of it is the most important part 
And I don't think you have to, like, not feel these things because I think it's just, like, human nature. But I think not letting it get in the way of that person's moment is important, you know? Like, I think it's fine to be jealous. I think when you make jealousy the main character, you're going to get killed off in season two. So... I don't know what that means, but you can figure it out instead of being jealous. There you go. I just gave you a full riddle. So now every time you're jealous, be like, I'm going to go take a stab at that riddle. <laughs> and if you find the answer, let me know, because I would love to know the answer. Curious minds want to know. Curious minds being mine. How long has this shit been going? <gasps> Hello? Callers in the queue ahead of you. How many? Excuse me? Mom? How many? Mom? How many? Mom? Sorry, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. I really don't. I was at the Billie Eilish concert on Saturday, and there was like a little... I talked about this in my vlog, but I'm talking about it here. In the GA pit or whatever, we were like on the section that was like... I don't know, like on the side. And people in the crowd, like I guess, noticed that we, I was sitting there. So they're like, Chris! And screaming. And so I just... I didn't hear Chris, so I was just heard people screaming and like waving towards us. So I was like looking around, and then I realized that I was like... I went like me and then people are like, and so I was like, oh my God, this is so awkward and funny. So everyone in our section was trying to figure out who the fuck was sitting in our section. And so, <laughs> wait, why was I talking about this? Oh, so I told everybody to howl. I literally tweeted I, in all caps, everyone howl. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just think that would be so funny if all of a sudden everyone was like, I don't know why I just like love making like sounds. Did it work? People said they howled. I didn't hear it, which was really a bummer because, like, nothing would have lit my world up like hearing a bunch of, like, just people going, <laughs> I just really wanted to hear that. But I trust you guys when you told me that it happened. I went on Twitter and people were like, we were howling. <laughs> I'm like, I just love being alive sometimes. It's so worth it. That'd be sick instead of, like, starting a wave. Yeah. Like, starting, like, a everyone, surround sound everyone, howl. Everyone gets on all fours. Face to the moon <laughs> when it comes to their section. Absolutely. I don't think I'm asking for a lot with that. I wish we heard. Did anybody hear what caller we were? I think it was in the teens. Oh, my God. I think. Lit. We're making our way downtown. How long has this episode been going? 41. But it, wouldn't it be nice if it, like, ended in... The, ended the, with calling out of jury duty. Yeah. That would be nice. Could we just fall asleep? Could we all have a moment of silence and listen to smooth jazz? <laughs> sure. No, 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 I'm kidding. Is, do you think this is copywritten? No, right? It's like a flute. I feel like this kind of music <laughs> has to be toll free. Like free. Or like yeah. license free. Copyright free. We'll I find think... out. <laughs> Hello? Oh, no. The loop was starting over. The smooth jazz. Should I try and come up with a song over it? <gasps> this will be fun and random and quite honestly unhinged. Bring in. Walking through the field to your house I have gas as I pass through the field <laughs> I'm farting and I'm parting ways Wait, I know I'm like so white that I don't even know like the rhythm of this Hold on Am I even on beat? Like this is This is <laughs> I'm sitting here on a bench in the park <laughs> with my picnic basket and my fruit waiting for you. <laughs> Is this like sound good or just absolute chaos? Because like I feel like I'm hitting it, but it also feels like a lot of white male confidence. <laughs> like just. <laughs> okay. I wish I just wish it like would stop and then like I could have like a starting point so I could like feel it out. But like the flute just keeps running away from me. I'm like, okay. Alright, here we go. I need silence on set. <clears throat> Two, one, go. I am like I <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Hi. Um, I'm, Hi, do you have a jury ID number? Yes, my jury ID number is...
Okay, what is the question? Um, I am not able to make um, the jury date, and I was just looking for a postponement. For what reason? I'm sorry? Why can't you come in? Oh, health reasons. Okay, so if you have medical issues, you need to have the doctor sign that off. What's going on? Okay, and how do I present that note then? Or do I have them email? You have to fill out the form, take it to your doctor, and then the doctor will tell us if you're able to come in or not because of your medical issues. That's okay. what I'm asking what's going on. Okay, just COVID symptoms. Okay, that's different. Okay. Got if you have COVID symptoms, then obviously you need to get tested with a PCR test. Give us a call back next week with the results or this week, whenever you get them. And then we'll take it from there. Okay, great. And so is that something I should also have a doctor's note from in preparation for? Or just because if well, I'm going if to the doctor to get... other medical issues, then obviously we need a doctor's signature. Got and it. Just I just, while I'm there getting... Cold, <coughs> be... Sorry. <coughs> right. If you're having symptoms, then obviously you need to be safe and don't go out. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, I just meant like if I'm going <clears> to... <throat> get tested would it be smart to get a note from the doctor then just in case so i don't have to go back if i come out positive no i mean if you're positive you're positive the doctor is not going to give you a note for that so i would just call back if that's the case sorry i've just never done jury duties okay positive for covid exactly then you just give us a call back because you're not going to mail any documents if you're positive for COVID. gotcha okay Alrighty. Um, thank you thank so much. You. I'll go get tested and then call back next week. Or you could just fucking hang up. You, I mean, ratchet. What the fuck? My taxes go to this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I pay taxes. Shouldn't we be allowed to get out of it? Like, what about that? What about fucking that? What if we updated this fucking country? Oh my God. Either pay taxes or permanently be on jury duty. Bro. How lit? How lit for those who can't afford to pay the taxes? Sorry, Booger. My hand just hit your body so fucking hard. I did not mean to. I love you so much. All of that. Oh, my God. Did I seem like I was lying on the phone? Because I was froze up. She was so confident and strong. And I was like. (gasps) Oh, when you were fake coughing? No, you sounded. No, the fake coughing was like the most convincing shit I've ever done. I believe myself that I had COVID. Oh, I think I have. (laughs) Oh, I'm sorry, guys. We're not this. Yeah, that's not a bit for the people like listening to this blindly. It sounded like she thought you were lying. Yeah, no. Because like if a medical medical note. She's like, well, what's going on? And I'm like, you are not allowed to ask me what my medical issues are. Um, I'm pretty sure. I also didn't. Is that legal? You can't ask me what my medical issues are. That is illegal. You should take her to court. I... Hey, we need a jury for my court date. That's that's how I'm getting out of jury duty. I'm going to be in the fucking case. But I also didn't realize you were going to lie this whole time. Oh, I didn't realize I was going to lie either. I I, I was going to say work, but then I was, because I do have work. But then I was like, well, so does everybody. So I'm not fucking special, you know? So like, isn't that like, doesn't work give you jury duty time anyway? But you're 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 self-employed. Yeah, I'm a famous. So, so if you don't show up for work, then you don't get paid. You're and that's financial hardship. Plus, yeah, that might plus, have been better. Plus, you're out of and town. True. You're going to be out of town. You're so. I have a premiere at my home in Delaware. <laughs> um, yeah, that and also we bleep my J I D. Your what? My, oh, your my jury number. Yeah, yeah. my JID. We recorded me lying. I mean, every (laughs) other YouTube has done it before. Why can't I? If the court finds it, then I shouldn't be on jury duty. (laughs) I mean, case in point. If anything, I have solidified my case for this. Hey, guys, I can't make jury duty. Why not? Watch YouTube.com slash Chris. (laughs) Why I called into jury duty. Like, I mean, I'm sorry. That, I know I sound entitled. I don't, I, I just, I think I'm for the people on this case. No, this it, like this shouldn't be mandatory. I do not feel equipped, and I have social anxiety. Like I'm gonna go stoned. Take that court. What are they gonna do? Say I can't show up stoned. I have a weed problem. 
that isn't even a lie because the the jury is out on that one. Yeah, I wonder what she would have said if you said I have a drug problem or something. <laughs> She'd be like, "Girl, don't we all? <laughs> After the last two years, who doesn't?" Brat. <laughs> I just cannot believe. Like, why aren't we taught about this in school? Once again, everything is traced back to why didn't we learn about this in school? Like how to skip jury duty? No, just and like taxes. And no, but just like jury duty, like. What's involved? What you should do? Like, what missing it leads to? Like, oh my God, I don't know anything about jury. I've never even been in a courtroom except to contest, like, a ticket once. And even then I lied. <laughs> I was like, I don't read this book. I don't know why my hand's on it, why I'm swearing to it, but okay. I mean, it might as well have been Harry Potter 5. And we're back with Chris's court. Yeah. <laughs> And we're back with Chris in court. <laughs> Will he get <laughs> charged with all 20 counts? Yeah, is this incriminating? No, right? Because this is all just for fun. We're doing this all in the name of comedy. This is satire. This is such satire. Like, we are just satirical tyrants. We're satirants. Yeah. We're fucking satirants. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking about the last hour of our lives and how really sorry I feel for you guys. That you have to sit through this all the time. And then, Justin, you have to edit this. I mean, I really should be buying you a bottle of alcohol a week. But then I'm like, will I be contributing to something bad? Yes and yes. <laughs> all right. Maybe we'll do, like, nips. <laughs> <gasps> like those little, like, airplane ones. Mm -hmm. Those are called nips, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You got to get her some. We'll, we'll split it. <gasps> Cute. We'll, we'll, split, we'll split nips. I know. I always forget that you're always <laughs> on the editing process, too, just because I think of the video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel really bad now. Let me give you the silent treatment no, from now on. No, please. Sam, I care about you most on this crew. Don't tell the others. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you guys equally. You know that. Anyways, this got really weird and awkward. So I think maybe this is where we just end it in silence. Well, I had another voice though <gasps> that sort of reminded me of the jury call. Let's a do little, it. Little, a little bit because it involves... Not lying. But is this a Chris's court or like a voice? Hey, Chris. Hey. Sorry, my voice is so fucked up right now. Me always. But I have it. to deal with the question I have for you. So I am sick right now. It's not COVID. Thank fucking goodness. That's crazy because I might have it. Uh, but I am sick. <laughs> and I work at a restaurant. But it's for a bunch of like upper class people who are anti-vax and against masks. So should I feel bad if I go to work? <laughs> Sick because not only do the customers things like that, so do my coworkers. And th my coworkers are the ones that got me sick in the first place because they come to work sick. Ew. So should I feel bad if I go to work sick when these people don't even care about COVID or sicknesses in general? Or should I still look out for their health and stay home? I don't know which one to do, like, but I also need money, but I also will feel bad if I get other people sick. But I'm not sure what to do, so please help me. This Bye. Is, this was you? This <laughs> this is Sam. <laughs> She's like, I hate my coworkers, <laughs> and I have COVID, and they're all anti-vax. <laughs> Surprise, guys. I'm anti-vax. <laughs> Imagine. Um, here's the thing, and this is what I told Miss West Virginia. Of course, it's not everybody. I don't think everybody eating at the restaurant is going to be anti-vax. However, now that I'm thinking this, no, because there's still going to be immune compromised people. You should stay home. It's like when I had COVID, I wanted to, it was at the time when like people in Long Beach and shit were protesting that. And I was like, should I join? I don't think I need a mask today. And then I was like, no, I honestly don't want the five people I meet in heaven to be anti-vax, all of them. That sounds just awful. So I'm going to say no. But if you need the money, then, I mean, that's literally the system that this country has put in place for us. So I'm never going to tell someone not to do something because, like, if money is a reason because like once again that is the world that we live in and are forced to live in <sighs> this is a quandary for chris's court what are you guys thinking where's the where's the jury at I think besides calling out sick with COVID. Uh, i think from a moral standpoint you should stay home 
And then, but yeah, I mean, I understand like if you're, if you need, I, yeah, I don't really know. Yeah. Uh, that's a, I, th- I think it's ethically and morally, you should not go if you know you're sick. Yeah. That's like the bottom but, line. But that's, a, that, that's living in like a utopian society of which, like, we all have money or, to survive that and, or like you're, um, rewarded by, um, you're rewarded to not go to work by to do the right thing. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And this is honestly a great point of how non black and white life is like so quickly on the internet. I feel it's like, oh, you didn't do this, therefore it must be that. And it's like, girl, shut the fuck up. No, it's not like that. Like with this, it's like, yeah, you could stay home and do the right thing, but if you're put in a situation where you need to work and you can't afford the rent, then yes, you should absolutely keep the roof over your head. Yeah, what happened to Gray Area? <sighs> like she retired or got killed off season two, I guess. <laughs> Everyone's getting killed off season two, I hear crazy i don't even know why this season two running bit is i also don't know why that tastes like buffalo cauliflower what this drink is what is it akin by miss bella hadid i don't love the daytime one the nighttime one is so fucking good i drink it before i go to bed and then i wake up and i'm like i'm a supermodel (laughs) no i actually do like the drink but this does Tastes weird today. It definitely tastes like buffalo cauliflower. It tastes electric. It's electric! <laughs> <laughs> um, I would stay home, but you said you need the money. See, I've just repeated the same thing nine times. <laughs> isn't there some sort of... Wasn't there like a bill? Can't they get paid when you're sick? I, I know. Isn't that like where we are as humans? Like, <laughs> don't can't you just get paid when you're sick? Booger, right? Are you standing up for that? You're standing up for her? Good for you or them. We don't know what they are. Oh, I love you, Bucky. <sighs> what I would do to be Booger. Just. Yeah. <sighs> this kid is still fucking talking. <laughs> oh, Bug. I, was that the uh, last voicemail? There are more. If you... Let's save them. We have a Patreon episode for 420 to film. Yeah. Oh, my God. That one's going to be high and messy. Since that one's going to be high, we should say bye. Bye, everybody. Leave a review. Rate this. And fucking call in and leave some secrets and look sexy in your profile pictures. <laughs> I have no idea. Subscribe to Unhinged with Chris Clemens wherever you listen to podcasts. And watch the video episodes as well as follow us on TikTok. Leave reviews. Tell us how hot, talented, and sexy we are. And most importantly, just shut up. Bye. Bye.